Infinity Ward, speak to us. A desperate cry from the Modern Warfare community on Reddit. User Blaze Ryan writes, We're the reason your company exists. Without a loyal fan base that comes back every year, you'd have nothing. Why aren't you talking to us? Why aren't you talking about map voting? Why aren't you talking about lobbies disbanding? Why aren't you talking about dead silence? Why aren't you talking about skill-based matchmaking? Why aren't you talking about the constant PC crashes that make the game literally unplayable? Why aren't you talking about changing the amount of XP it takes to level up? Why aren't you talking about how the battle pass works? Saying, just play the game, does not tell us how the system works. Is it time-based? Time plus time played? Why do you let us guess? Art Peasant said during the beta that you wanted to prove to everyone that you'll be vocal throughout the game's life cycle. You told us you'd smash that comment. Now you're saying you'd rather stay away from talking on social media and spend your time working on the game. I'm tired of the fake promises. You guys teased us with the beta, now what? Now that you have our money, you just abandon communication? The top comment reads, 100% valid criticism, deserves a response. 60% chance it'll be removed by the moderators because they don't like it. A highlight of one of the hilarious problems plaguing this subreddit in general. The mods just removing anything that's not positive enough. Hi, I'm Kyle, and I know that all too well because I responded vocalizing the fact that I made a post summarizing my thoughts on this season one bullcrap and my post was immediately removed by the moderators. What I said was, the battle pass contains 16 double XP tokens, seven charms, seven emblems, six sprays, six stickers, six calling cards. That's half of the hundred tiers on this slow, grindy-ass battle pass. I recognize every tier cannot be skins, blueprints, guns, or animations, but when you throttle progression by quietly doubling experience to level up and deliberately make the progression grindy to almost necessitate double XP or purchasing tiers, you disrespect us. Also, imagine if Fortnite didn't have previews for their animations. Bruh. What? Let's not even talk about the fact that you can't hold a button to just look at your gun in the game, you know? You want people to buy it, but it's like you don't want us to buy it. Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. What you mean you got emotes, but we can't see them? What you mean we could buy skins for guns, but we can't look at the gun? You added one 6v6 map. Count them. Or count it. One. And then you removed Shoot House 24-7. The much-needed scratch... For those of us itching to not play hide and seek on these maps that frankly are too damn big, made even smaller when for some reason we're playing 4v4. Look at my past stream, I was playing a match earlier where it was just me and Dia versus a bunch of people and we kept hitting the touchpad going, is anybody coming into the match? Nobody. Gun game gone, no map voting, probably because you got such a small amount of 6v6 maps, ridiculous. Lobbies detonating after one match. After one match. Can I can I just address that very quickly? Recently somebody made a post that said, 15 years of playing on Xbox Live, the first time that we have ever met, and he's my groomsman in my wedding. Online friends are real friends, you know? Some of us don't get out much. Doesn't mean we're all incel dweebs or creeps, you know what I mean? It just means that when we're not working, <laughs> maybe all we have time for socially is to just unwind on a game and if there's a mic hey there it is so somebody in the comments says when you don't actually insult his mom and i respond nah son 
Sometimes insulting somebody's mom is just the beginning. I say, sometimes that's how friendships start. Talk mad shit, make everyone laugh, and bond. Games are about blowing off steam, and friendships can also be about this. The new Modern Warfare immediately closes lobbies after one match, does not allow for the shit talking, does not allow for rematches. This robs the game of the camaraderie associated with proving a match wasn't a fluke or overcoming someone who got lucky. But these days, Infinity Ward out here sucking dicks. But who's sucking dicks harder than Infinity Ward? Apparently the moderators on the fucking community subreddit. Because the, the fans, the people playing the damn game who ha are actually voicing valid criticism, this is critique. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. How can you get better if you don't know what to fix? But you don't get to also ignore us. Do you get what I'm saying? And call us crybabies or whatever. You know what I mean? You heard of the Streisand effect? Have you heard of the Streisand effect? If you try to silence this shit, it's going to backfire, homie. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to uh, uh, provoke some kind of uprising among the gamers. But it's getting kind of childish. It's getting kind of stupid. I feel like you don't understand what the spirit of Call of Duty is. The spirit of Call of Duty is the rematch. 1v1 me on Rust. That's a that's a 10-year-old meme. You know why it survives? You know why it survives? Because it's about that rematch, baby. You think you're hot shit? Prove to me. Get in the match again with just me. Just you, no teammates, no variables, same weapons, let's lay it down. But you're immediately ending the lobby, probably to throw us into another match with what you consider to be uh, the better matchup as far as the skill on display is. But that, you know, it's a system we can break in the opposite direction too. I can just reverse boost, rocket launch to the damn ground and end up in a lobby full of morons. Full of people looking the other way, you know, maybe they playing with their feet. Maybe, maybe I'm playing against a streamer that's, that's got a toaster rigged up to a controller and he's trying to show everybody he's playing Modern Warfare. Here's my point, all right? Y'all need to address some stuff. Dead silence is still not a perk, as my man in the initial post said, and it needs to be made into a perk. In my opinion, it needs to be split into two perks. Maybe into lightweight, which will allow you to run a little bit faster. Maybe not as fast as Dead Silence or as it is right now, but maybe half that speed, whatever you want to do. Because the Claymores are broken. You remember Modern Warfare 2? Maybe it's a different studio. Maybe y'all weren't around that long ago. Maybe ha none of y'all have even played that game. In Modern Warfare 2, the Claymores were delayed enough to where if you had the right perks, you could run through that bitch. Did you narrow? So maybe the super sprinting that we do, we should be able to run through it. Maybe with Dead Silence as it is now, you should be able to run through it. With Lightweight, we should be able to run through it. Y'all only just remembered that stun grenade should should make the Claymores, uh, you know, stop working for a little bit. It's pretty ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. I go on to say being Call of Duty does not grant you the luxury to, to just do whatever you want to do and ignore valid feedback. You may think... Uh, they'll come back eventually, these baby gamers feeling so entitled. Nah, son, we're paying for your game. Let me put it to you like this. Most people are getting more out of Fortnite right now, and they ain't paying Fortnite a damn thing. You feel me? We're paying you. We're paying you to, to access the game, and then we're paying for this little uh, boy call it whatever you want to call it. This season one. You may think they'll eventually come back, but I bet you PUBG thought the same damn thing. The gaming space is different now. People have options. That's what I mean when I say that. It's different now. People have options. Options they don't have to pay for, if I'm being honest. The issues with skill-based matchmaking in casual modes is not something that's just going to go away if you ignore it long enough. And if you let enough time pass, like Anthem's developers did, it'll be too late. You'd be making your announcement to a room full of people that don't give a damn, you know? If people are going to leave your game, at least let them leave, you know, relatively pleased. Because if they, if you make them leave angry, there's no chance in hell you're going to get that attention back. And before you know it, this game will turn into a goddamn microtransaction cesspool. It's already fairly greedy, and a lot of us are giving you a pass because the game is fundamentally fun. 
it's better than a lot of us expected. I didn't think I'd be buying another Call of Duty game. Here I am. Here I am. But here we are just getting silenced by moderators who are, you know, busy on, you know, whatever app for men. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that, I guess. And I love them. I love men. I love men as much as the next guy. Maybe more. Maybe I love men so much that I, you know, <laughs> that I'm sexist. What about the women, Kai? I love women too. Jesus. Where is this going? You know, it makes me wonder. It makes me wonder what I should be doing. And I feel like that's what a lot of people think too. Somebody saying this post go get removed too. Well, you're just hoping it can live forever in this small little hole on YouTube, the echo chamber that we're just yelling into. Because it doesn't look like no matter how many times we page or call the names of the people who promised, oh, we're going to be vocal. We're going to talk to you. Now that you've got our money, you're pulling a Fallout 76 on us. Got a skedaddle. Almost heaven. Call of Duty. Blue Ridge Mountains. Microtransaction. Rivers. Country Road. Take me home to the place I belong skill based matchmaking we know we know we know we know we know do you know do you know you're gonna know you're gonna know and then you're gonna Pikachu face aren't you when you got nobody to blame but yourself the clock's ticking we've seen this happen so many times already look the fire is kind of raging right now. You have the choice to to extinguish it or to throw a little gas canister on top of that bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Make whatever happens. See you guys later. I just, you know, boo, boo, boo.